Welcome back, guys. Sheldon here, doing another episode, round, whatever you want to call it, of Big Rig Racing. Now, as you guys can see, we are in my garage, and, well, my newest addition looks an awful lot like the Bullet Mustang from that famous movie, it's got a nice green color and rather dark rims. I think it's Steve McQueen, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we got my other trucks in the back. Just gonna go in here. So those are the three trucks that I have right now. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, the game did an update and the, I believe it was Frontliner, has now been changed to Hauler, and Viking Volt is now Viking. Now, the other trucks, I don't know if it will show me. <clears throat> uh, yes, so Steeks and Icebox are the other two new names. For well, from what I can tell, most of the uh, the truck models weren't actually listed, and Gears is the only one that hasn't really changed, from what I can tell. Viking Volt dropped the Volt part. Gears looks like it just got an updated logo. Oh, and there's also Kingsway. So, am I a fan of the new logos? Kingsway, yes. Hauler, yes, although I did like the original name. The Viking one, I kind of like it. I'm a little bit torn on it because, you know, Viking Volts, you know, the original logo on the truck is still kind of visible there, but not really. And the Gears one, I'm in indifferent about that one. And the Icebox one is probably the one that I hate the most. Steaks just doesn't make any sense to me either. But it is what it is. The developers want to spice up the game a little bit, so their choice if they want to do that. And the other update that I noticed, there could be more that I'm not aware of, but the other thing is the layout. Now this, to me, is probably the best uh, part of the update. So we are basically in the lower states of the US and basically it goes all the way up here up to Canada with the Great Lakes there. So I actually really like this feature that they've added. It's basically a, make it a little bit more I don't know, kind of like territory, kind of like a uh, need for speed. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, upgrades seem pretty standard. Style. I don't think they've changed the rims or anything. So as far as I can tell, it is just the names of the the brands for the trucks and the navigation for when you're wanting to race. So I'm gonna go into tournament here. Now the game was lagging for me a little bit earlier so I actually postponed recording for you guys so hopefully I don't get any lag right now or I'm gonna end up having to cut the video short. So. All right, my bullet, bullet hauler. It's no Mustang, but who cares? Save the NOS for a little bit later because generally I win with NOS. So I know that's kind of cutting it close, but 
I know what my truck is capable of, so I think I probably have one more race before I need to do an upgrade. I've already done several upgrades on the truck already, so... Yeah, this one's going to be kind of borderline, so I might have to use the NOS a little bit early. And it gets, it's against the truck with camo. I, I, I hate that styling. I really do. I don't know why, like... Who honestly would put camo on a big rig? I just... I don't get it. I'm a little bit confused by that. Camo? I just... I don't know. To me, big rigs should have... Really crazy, metallic, sparkly paint, tons of lights, chrome, you know, just... I don't know, maybe that's old school thinking, I don't know. But, I really like this truck, I really like all my trucks, actually. And... I'm really looking forward to, uh... Getting into the next tier. And, you know what? Let's do... You know what, let's... Let's get the nitro up there. Or tires. We don't want to be spinning our tires, so let's do tires. Engine should probably get done first. Turbo. Why not? You know, I wonder how f much money I'm going to have left over if I do everything here. Engine. Okay, so the engine is done there. Tires. Transmission. What am I missing? Intake. Alright, so everything is at four there, except for intake. Body, honestly guys, I don't I'm I'm really torn because you would think that, you know, reducing the weight on your truck would actually help with the performance, but the traction goes down, and with the amount of wheel spin that I see off the line, it really doesn't make any sense for me to uh, put myself in the, a bad situation like I did with my first truck, where I reduced the weight so much that it felt like I was spinning off the line every single time. So, now I have pretty much no money. Which, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Spend all your money on upgrades so that you can win. So, let's go... ...to tournament. I'm gonna do a couple of... a few races for you guys. Just because I'm not doing this very often, so I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much content for you guys as possible here. So, Viking truck, Odin. I think they actually named the trucks after, like, Vikings or, like, the Viking warriors or whatever, because Odin, I believe, is a Viking. And... Late on the Moss, which is fine. Oh, I managed to get another shift in there. Get a little bit of money. Ooh, 13.8. Alright, those upgrades definitely helped. Alright, so I'm gonna do one of those. I'm gonna do one of these standard races for you guys. Just to go through all the the modes again. You can see all of the uh see all the different levels of trucks that I have to race against. And again, these graphics. Love these graphics. It's really difficult to shift in this truck. Barely beat him. So, the problem that I find is when you upgrade and you get into the higher tiers, it is super, super difficult to play this game, because 
when you're trying to do perfect shifts and when you're trying to time your shifts, it's it's really not easy. I know when I started playing this game, probably in the first video that I ever made, I probably said this game was really, really easy, and that might have been true in the very beginning, but now, no. It's, it's definitely not the case. This game does actually take some decent hand-eye coordination. And you know what? If you screw up on your start or uh, one or two shifts, you can easily lose. So, as I was saying, I did a good start, and my first shift off the line wasn't very good. I don't think my second shift was really good either. However, I still managed to squeeze out the win against Steve from the Rangers, the Texas Rangers. But, as you guys can see, it does get a lot more difficult as you progress, and... It's just one of those things where, I mean, you do want to upgrade as often as you possibly can. But when you go into the tournament here, how many of you guys do I have to race? 50, is it? 40. So I've got to race 40 guys, and I'm only at number 18. Which, you know, I mean, it's not too bad, but I feel like... The amount of mods that I still need to do to this truck to keep getting to the higher tiers. No, it's... I still have a long ways to go, but it's going to cost a lot of money, so I need to uh, really focus. See? Perfect. 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 Nice. Perfect. Perfect. See, so besides me ruining the uh, the start on that one, that is what you really should be aiming for in this game, is to just get perfect start, perfect shift, time and time again, and if you're not doing that, you know, you guys could easily be uh, losing races, wasting the gas that you guys get, and I think that Regardless of when you're playing, or how long you're playing for, or the uh, results that you have, you just kind of have to play it a couple of times a day, and just focus, really. I mean, I think I did a perfect start and all perfect shifts in that one, so that was a really, really good example. And I'm already back up to almost $23,000, which will help me get an up another upgrade. So I think I'll do one more race for you guys, and then uh, call it quits for the day. But yeah, th this game, honestly guys, if you guys are on the fence um, on whether or not you want to play this game, I mean, just, you know, give it a try. And um, if you guys don't like playing it, but like seeing me play it, well, you're in luck, because I am, uh, gonna be playing it for a little while yet, before I get another game on the, on the go, which I don't really know when that might be, but I'm very picky about what games I, uh, showcase, and, uh, so with AA Ron doing, uh, SnowRunner still, and having to upload his video very shortly. This is going to be it for me. So, if you guys have any uh, recommendations for me, or AA Ron for that matter, uh, we're both we're both a little limited on, as to what we can play. Myself, I basically focus on mobile games and he focuses on the PlayStation ones at the moment. But if you guys have any recommendations for 
or suggestions of games that you guys would like to see us playing, um, please leave some uh, comments down below for us. And um, if you guys like the, this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, that I'd really appreciate that because that tells me you guys are actually enjoying this stuff. And uh, if you go above and beyond that and hit that subscribe button, that also helps us know that you guys are engaged and also loving all of the content that we put out. And if you guys subscribe, you're also going to be notified of when we post more videos. And that is also a great thing to do. So I'm just going to take a sneak peek here between the trucks and show you guys how long I've been playing for. So, five hours, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of time invested in this game, so hopefully you guys uh, have a good weekend, or had a good weekend, depending on when I post this, and um, I will catch you guys in the next one.